Dajaha, hi guys, it's Shane, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be reacting to episode 27 of League of Noblemen. I am so stressed for this episode because we have two episodes left after this, and Zhang Ping just got arrested for assassinating the Empress. So, like, where do we even go from here? I don't know. I suspect that um, Landry is like playing the long game with. Mr. Gu, but who knows? Before we do get into it, I just want to say a quick massive thank you to all my amazing patrons and channel members. And if you're interested in joining either of those for early access and uncut reactions to things like League of Noblemen, links will be in the description below, along with my social media and my PO box. And if you want to subscribe, that's also greatly appreciated. But now, without further ado, let's get into today's video. <laughs> Yeah. That's exactly what he wants. Oh, okay. That is so... It just keeps on being manipulative until the very end. It just doesn't feel like he trusts Landre. Even now. Oh my word, why are those books so aesthetically pleasing? Oh goodness, and like let's be honest here out of all three people who like have a bid for the throne or had a bid for thro the throne should i rather say the empress mr gu and the prince the only one who's actually deserving of the title at this moment is the prince i'm sorry to say it but the average person especially in this like situation is not equipped to rise up to the title of emperor because you do need some like years of preparation it's not something that you can just become overnight and do a good job at so many but I'm on the other side of the screen, so... That's a fair question. Oh, believe me, he's being extra careful and thoughtful, I think. I just, I worry him like laying this all out to this man and just hoping that Mr. Gu hadn't already gotten to him. It's a very risky move. I would be more cautious if I was him. I don't think this was wise. Let's hope that he's still on the right side. Mm. This poor person, whoever it is. Mm. This was a good twist, oh my goodness. And it's so perfect as well, because like, the the swapping of the the fake fake with the real is such a trend throughout. So what is the plan? Oh, 
Okay, but you guys need to give him a better disguise than what he's been disguised as recently. She looks very convincingly like herself, I have to say. This is so interesting. Oh, that's so grim. Like it's it's nice and the, in the general idea, but like the way it's being used now is grim. Shouldn't someone go and retrieve the fake prince? Who I hope becomes the actual prince? Can someone please just send news to the prince, the, the actual, well, fake prince? This man is having some kind of moment here. As long as the backup plan isn't like committing suicide along and taking him with you, I'm I'm excited. Huh. Why do they have to be split up for this? That very much sounds like a suicide mission. No, 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 no. I don't like this. I'm liking none of this. I'm so stressed. Oh no, he's gonna die, isn't he? Oh great, ticking time bomb. That did not sound like him, that was very strange. <laughs> Look how beautiful this place is. This show really is just visually stunning. This is so interesting, so you just get to cry. Oh no, that bug. Why did he change clothes? Interesting, so they basically have like a this is what the history books are gonna say moment. They should have bought another person so that um, two people could split up and go either side because my fear is that the person that they just saw is leading them down the wrong road. Okay. Guys, the stress levels are here. I, ca I cannot. I cannot deal. Just 
amazing. Why are there guards waiting for them? That's very suspicious. Are they kind of about to, like be forced into a corner and murdered? This is very frustrating, like I really hope he doesn't win because I didn't think he would but now I'm suddenly not so sure. Which I suppose is a good thing, like keeping up the suspense. Oh, this is so frustrating. Can his gloating face just not be the last thing I see in this series? Because it's like, oh, he's really starting to get on my nerves. I had like extreme distaste for him, but now it's like distaste plus, plus annoyance. Interesting that these people are totally okay with betraying the monarchy. Please tell me this is part of the plan in some weird shape or form. Guys, I don't know what to make of this. Yeah, that's true. Just because you had some bad experiences doesn't mean... Oh, please stop using other people to excuse your agendas. I, I'm sorry, I'm in denial over him dying. I'm in, I'm, I'm literally in denial over here. In a better place for her. That did not sound like him. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the echo. Oh, great. Everything is going according to his plan. Please tell me you guys had a backup plan. Please. And that jumping isn't actually dead. I just wonder wonder where she's hidden. What is that thing doing now? Interesting. If this was part of his plan, then that means the Empress has to be somewhere here. What kind of nonsense is this guy up to? Can you Im imagine him orchestrating this? Like, he's ridiculous.
please tell me no you can't end it there oh i don't want to see you because i'm scared he's like tortured her in some way shape or form okay so let's take stock of the situation they failed jang ping might be dead i'm still holding out on hope that there was some kind of fake out planned ahead of time just in case things got out of hand and the fake prince is nowhere to be seen so i shouldn't be counting on him great we love it okay anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it i am very nervous for the next two episodes and otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one